This video is sponsored by Logitech for Creators. Let's talk about lighting while also becoming a clown. I decided to go with the clown for this video because I figured we're gonna be talking about lighting, Logitech's new light called the Lighter Beam. And clowns are very much one of those types of characters where it has to do with not only how the person is acting, the makeup, the environment, but also very much the lighting that determines the vibe of that character. Very much so. Very much so. Lighting can make a huge difference in videos. Now, I have been doing videos for what feels like forever now, and I also stream. So I am in front of a camera uh, majority of my day, majority of my life, which working with lighting kind of also comes with the territory. Good lights matter. Just to give you guys perspective of how far I have come in my journey <laughs> of lighting. And if you've been to any of my streams, you've probably heard this story before. When I first started online, my very first YouTube video ever, and probably for several videos actually in the very beginning, I was balancing lamps on shoe boxes on top of my bed to try to get my video lit at night. If you can just go into your brain and imagine the adventure that must have been, I can confirm it was. Anytime I had to move on my bed, whether I had to shift over to grab a paint or shift over to grab an eyeshadow, guess what? All the lamps just came tumbling down. I'm pretty sure I balanced like three or four. I can't remember anymore. Like my grandma's lamp was missing. My mom's lamp was missing. So what do you do? You gotta figure out lighting. You know what, while I'm actually talking about the lights functions, I should probably just, boom, show you all these beautiful shots that I got. Put in the comments, by the way, if you enjoy my Logitech Lytra Beam beautiful shots. Anyways, the reason that I got these shots was because I wanted to show you specific things on these lights that I feel makes them actually significantly different than any light I have ever had. Right when you open the box, it's very easy to put together. You have a stand, you have the base, and then you have the light itself as well as the power cord. The stand screws right into the base, and then the light has three different ways that you could screw it on. This makes it so it's a three-way adjustable stand. You can adjust the height, you can tilt it, and you can also rotate it. It actually makes it very flexible so you can have your lights exactly how you want them positioned. I have yet to feel limited to get them to how I want them to be. I also cannot stress enough how nice it is that it goes up and down and the reason is is because a lot of lights have it on a stand where you have to click each one to lock it in. This you literally just pull it up and push it down and that's that's it. Like there's nothing else to it. Actually how easy it is to adjust the height is probably one of my favorite things. Other than the fact that the whole thing moves, other than the fact that the buttons are right there, <laughs> that it's got different light adjustments. I mean, I guess I like the whole thing, but one, one of my top things, I like that the height adjustment is very easy to do. No matter which way you have your lights positioned, the cord will not get in the way, which by the way, it's a USB, so you could actually put it into your desktop if you wanted to. Which by the way, if you do have them plugged into your desktop, Logitech does have software for it called the G-Hub, and you can adjust all the settings right on your PC as well. Personally, I just click, click, click the back. Right now for YouTube, I have them plugged into outlets, but when I'm streaming, I have them plugged into my PC. As I mentioned, the buttons are right on the back. You have five adjustable brightness, and and then you also have color temperature settings as well. I like to keep my lights on the cooler setting. That's just how I've always liked my lights on the cooler side, but you could always go on the warmer side to give more of a candle light type effect. And the transition between colors is soft as well. It's not just like a harsh, I could actually, hang on, off, on. <laughs> Big difference in lighting. As I was just saying, lights make a huge difference. These lights are diffused lights. Logitech calls it true soft technology. Now it's very hard for me to give you an example of it because unless you're in front of them, I mean, I'm the one that's in front of the lights, not you guys right now. The best way that I thought that I could show you is to show you on the wall. You could see when I'm turning the light, it's very soft on the edges of the light. There's no just harsh end to where the light is pointing. And other than seeing it on my face and seeing that there's no harsh lights on my face, I thought that was the best way to show you. Now, in addition to just learning how to light myself, I also had to learn how to light characters. Different lighting angles are going to give you different shadows on your face, and overall you want to have a nice soft feel on your whole video, on your face, especially if you're doing a beauty look or any kind of makeup videos, having that soft light is always what everybody aims for. It's my very first time using the Logitech Lytra Beam lights for a YouTube video. Now I have been using them for about a week and a half on stream. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. They are really small on my desk. They take up like no room. Now I am a person that likes my camera within arm's reach. Like you guys are literally right here. So actually having my lights on my desk and having the on off switches right there as well as like turning it up and down, 
that's been a lot easier for me. Because maybe through the video I'll be like, oh no, my hair is casting a shadow or something on my neck or somewhere I don't want it. And then I'm like, ah! Do I move the lights? Do I not move the lights? And trust me, maybe I'm just particular. It happens quite often. So being able to just take the light and just boop right on my desk, easy. You can already see it. The lights have a very slim design. The whole thing is light, but not light enough that you're ugh, light. But I'm I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Oh my. Not lightweight enough that you're going to knock it over, but not heavy enough that if you want to move the light, you're gonna be like, oh. I gotta go to the gym. The whole thing is easy. That's the best way I can describe these lights. They're just easy. They're very much a everything that you see, everything that is listed about them is what you really get. With the lights being so slim, I feel like I could get them in tight spaces. Like when I'm streaming, I don't have much room behind my PCs because they're right on the edge of my desk. And being able to just slide this basically underneath it and then just boop, pop the light out on the top of my monitor just works out perfect. I did also want to mention that whether you're a creator or not, whether you're doing something online, these lights are very nice to have. I have two of them currently, which Logitech so beautifully said to me, I think I'm going to actually end up ordering more. Reason being because when I'm not doing stuff online, I still do a lot of things in front of me like drawing. And because these lights are so flexible and they dim down pretty low to have like nice ambient lighting, I think I'm actually going to use these for like my regular desks as well. One thing that I very quickly learned about lighting is that different positions with lighting can make a huge difference in how the shot turns out. Just the overall vibe of the shot. For this shot, I have my lights set up like a butterfly. But when you turn one off and do split lighting, you start to cast that shadow on one side of your face. But then if you're doing something spooky, taking your lighting and pointing it up from the bottom can give you a very spooky look. All in all, the Logitech Lighter Beam Freaking awesome. I was so happy to have this video sponsored by Logitech for creators. As soon as I saw the Lighter Beam, I was like, I want to try that. Here we are, because I'm so happy that I did, because I love them. After using the Lighter Beam for the first time in this YouTube video, plus using it on streaming for over a week, I would definitely recommend them. They are so easy to use, which I'm sure you have probably gathered from this video. When you check them out for yourself, let me know when you get them, what you think. Remember this video, come back to the comments and tell me. And once again, thank you so much to Logitech for Creators for sponsoring this video and the lights.